Hey, thanks for joining us on Polk Place. I'm Brian Lacey, and joining me in studio from the Breast Cancer Foundation of Central Florida, uh, be Holly Kane and Ashley Page. Ladies, welcome back to the show. Thank you. Thank yeah. you for having us. Yeah, how we doing? Great. Yeah. Great. I see you're out there chasing the world, doing that nine to five job, and, and our girl here just got married. Mm -hmm. A few days ago. Yeah, how's that working out for you? Amazing, so yeah. far. So have you had to sign the name yet? Not yet. Yeah. No. <laughs> not yet. It's not official. Not, <laughs> it's not official to you have to sign. I'm gonna have to remember that. That's what someone told me yesterday. Exactly. So for those that might not know, let's talk a little bit about the Breast, Can Breast Cancer Foundation of Central Florida. What exactly is it? How did it get started and, and who does it help? Well, it was started by uh, several women that live in the Polk County area, but there is actually a larger organization that began out in the Ozarks, and they had friends uh, that knew people here that had suffered breast cancer, and our fearless leader, Leah Grieger, uh, helped get it going. She reached out to several, a handful of people that she knew had uh, gone through breast cancer recently and said, hey, let's do something for the people here locally. And uh, that's kind of how it all began six years ago. And i um, really proud of, of the amount of help that we've been able to do since. When you speak of that help, talk a little bit about the things that you guys do, not only emotionally, but financially. Uh, there's so many um, people that get behind the cancer name, but you guys do something that's unique. You you help them locally on the things that they need because when going through this, this treatment, um, you know, uh, whether a payment, whether it's help, whether one, you guys are there for them. Talk a little bit about that if you would please. Certainly, and Ashley and I both know this, having uh, young children and both of us being breast cancer survivors, but what our organization does is try to help patients with those everyday needs. It's not uh, money that goes towards medical costs, but for everyday life costs. So it could be helping out with rent, it could be helping out with a car payment, it could be, uh, you know, we have a children's fund that helps perhaps if children need back to school clothing or they need something specifically for them. So it's really to help for all of the needs that come up in a cancer patient's life beyond what they're, what they're doing medically wise. It's to make their life a little bit easier in some way. And um, it's a huge financial burden, as you can imagine, to uh, have to fight cancer. And we are trying to supplant on the other side and, and make it a little bit easier for their everyday life. Ashley, how did you find the Breast Cancer Foundation of Central Florida? And then now, you know, one of the one of the wheels that spin the spin the tires. Um, when I was diagnosed with breast cancer two years ago, I had a girlfriend that told me, "Hey, listen, there's this group. Reach out to them, and maybe they can help you. Just find out." So I reached out, and they just wanted my medical report, and then asked what I needed. Um, it was literally that simple, and it was to the point. Hey, don't don't pay us back. We just want you to be better. And I fell in love with the idea of what, what they do is so amazing, not enough people know that you exist. It's time to let other people know as they get diagnosed, there's a group there that will support you. Part of what you ladies do is fundraising. Uh, we, we talked with you about an event coming up. Uh, you have other events. And the event we're talking about today is the, did we? Potato, potato, gala, gala. How, how do you say that? You know what? I say it however you want to say it. <laughs> I mean, I, I was Multiple like, ways, gala, yeah. gala, yeah. whatever. So you, you have an event coming up, the gala, gala. Uh, what exactly is it? Talk about its history. Well, it's really a phenomenal event, I must say. I'm, I'm really proud of what we've been able to do, and it's really our chief fundraiser for the entire year. And we hold it at different places. Uh, this year it's going to be out at Bonnet Springs, it's been at other places, and it's a, it's a gathering of people, two, three hundred people, and they come for a night of dinner, and uh, we dance later with the band, but the most important thing is we hope they come for a night of inspiration, motivation, and coming to help the cause. 
and uh, it's really turned out to be a nice thing. We've had the community be so very involved and uh, to see the different people that come out. And you know what, one of the things that I've always liked about it is uh, when we are able to have some of the survivors and we're having people that maybe just finished treatment, they may still be in treatment, but they come out for this evening and they're able to smile and they're able to talk to somebody else that has gone through it. There are a lot of people that are going through breast cancer that you know, they might not necessarily have another family member or a good friend that they can say, hey, this happened, what do you think about this? Or maybe, you know, obviously, they're just you know, kind of down. So we hope our night is uplifting for the patients in a way that they can feel surrounded by the goodness and the love that's presented and, and certainly to raise a lot of money to help others. And Ashley, you have a great follow-up story. Talk to me about last year's adventures. Um, well, I was trying to find survivors to come and I ended up meeting some women. One had just finished her treatment and she, had, she hadn't left the house yet. She was still very uncomfortable with people seeing her like that. And I just drove to her house, took her flowers, asked her like, listen, you're gonna see the rest of us survivors there too. Like exactly in your shoes is where we sat two years ago, a few years ago, like we're, we're just like you. And another one I had come out, she had a double mastectomy, did not want anyone to see her, went and saw her like, you're going to come to this event. She came and now actually she and her husband are one of our biggest supporters for every single thing we do. Let's talk about the event itself. We all know it's going to be at the new Bonnet Springs Park, which is probably one of the most beautiful venues that we have in Polk County. But uh, let's talk specifics, uh, times, dates, and how can we as the general public get involved? And ultimately, how can we get sponsors and get more people behind y'all? Um, this year, the event is Bonnet Springs, October 27th at six o'clock. We have a live band, there's dinner, and we also do a live and a silent auction. Um, we have online, we have our different sponsorship levels where we have Watson Clinic is our main presenter. And behind that we have Dorn Region and Industrial Process Controls, which is Fred, the man that walked me down the aisle. They're our biggest ones right now. And we have different levels that show you can either get people from your office. We have pe people that come from tables of survivors will get together. You can come individual tickets, whatever level you want to be at. Got about just a minute left. Uh, Holly, I'm gonna give you the final word. If you would inspire those to join you for this night of uh, therapy and friendship and, and really for a great cause. Well, that's just it. It's, it's a night where you can come and feel good. If you're a patient, you can feel like there's other people that, that get it and wanna help. You know what you're doing is raising money. And you know what? I, I would challenge that there are very few people walking around that don't know somebody that has suffered breast cancer, some, whether it be their family, their friend, or a coworker. And so being able to come out and actually do something and have the money stay here locally is huge. That makes the big difference. We're raising money for the people in the counties and in the surrounding area. It's not going to a mothership somewhere else. Mm. It's staying here at home. So it's a wonderful night to smile, to enjoy yourself, and uh, know that you're doing a whole lot of good for a whole lot of people. Ladies, always a pleasure seeing you. Please, anytime, if I can help you promote anything, come back and see me, please. Thank you. Thanks for all you've done. Breast Cancer Foundation of Central Florida and Watson Clinic invite you to the Breast Cancer Foundation of Central Florida 6th Annual Pink Ribbon Gala. Friday, October 27th at 6 p.m. at Bonnet Springs Park in Lakeland. The event will offer a night of cocktails, dinner, dancing, silent and live auctions, and more. Now, together, we can help the breast cancer patients and their families as they face situational poverty stemming from a breast cancer diagnosis. Individual tickets are available at $150 each. Now, if you need more information on tickets, sponsorship, anything like that, please email Ashley at apage at bcfcf.org 
or check them out on the web at bcfcf.org forward slash pink ribbon gala. If you enjoyed that episode of Polk Place, I invite you to like, share, and subscribe to the channel and even check out the next one.